What's going on everybody? Ratchet Wrench is back for another quick video and today I have the pleasure of renting a 2020 F-150 EcoBoost truck. Thing has about 300 miles on it so pretty much brand new. It's pretty cold out here. I'm having my coffee but I'm just waiting to return this vehicle so I thought I'd give you guys a quick walk around. Man this thing is sharp. Our buddy Dave as everyone knows has the 2019 F-150 the twin turbo EcoBoost. So similar to this this is the EcoBoost as well. Uh, he's got a lot done to it obviously it's tuned pushing you know mid 500 to 600 horsepower depending on what gas he's running this one is bare bone stock since it's a rental i apologize it's dirty but i've been doing a lot of work on the construction site so it is what it is love the tailgate and the back end here i believe that's pretty much the same as the previous year of the uh, f-150s uh, you do have the eco boost badge down here on the tailgate as well uh, this model does have the backup camera. I feel like that's pretty generic now, depending what sub model or whatever you get. Um, tail lights are really sharp too. You got that 4x4 decal. Got the single exit exhaust on the passenger side. It's nice and quiet too. I I put the uh, MBRP exhaust on my Dodge Ram 1500 2017, and it is. It's got a little drone to it, to be honest, driving on the highway. Um, this thing's so quiet, but it's got such nice pickups. So I do like that a lot about the Fords. And the ride quality is extremely clean, and it's easy to drive, too. So, yeah, just an overall sharp-looking truck. It's got the bigger back seats, the, uh, the crew cab. Got a nice sunset going here. So, yeah, it's a uh, kind of a dark blue color which I do like on these the grills pretty sharp I think that's pretty standard on the f-150s here um, got those nice big headlights the out the light output actually is not too great it was up pretty early this morning and it was dark out I would like if they actually did put an HID kit in there Dave on his f-150 I'll link it above he has the Morimoto LED headlights those things are crazy bright they're really sharp looking these are all right, but the Mori Motos, they're, they're over $1,000, so you know what you pay for, they're very expensive. It's for some people, not others, but it does make up uh, for the lack of the headlight and the fog light down here. I can turn those on in a minute to show you, but um, yeah, it comes stock with those Goodyear Wrangler tires, excellent grip and traction no matter where you are. They do have the, the keypad unlock for the door still, so let's open this up. And the bed here, this is the, uh, the slightly smaller bed, uh, nice little rubber liner going in there. Pretty simple bed, but nice, does the job. Yeah, let's turn these headlights on. And the fog lights right there. Let's go check out the uh, front end real quick. So yeah, you're just your standard headlights right there. They're not anything special. The fogs do light up pretty nice at night and early in the morning when it's dark. So pretty sharp front end. I would pop the hood, but they you can't really see it. They tie down the uh, hood latch there, which is understandable if people don't know much about cars or anything. They could mess up putting fluid in, you know. So we can uh, grab my coffee real quick hop in the cab here take a look at the inside oh man it's nice and warm in here all right so starting with the gauge cluster I really do like this gauge cluster let's go back to display mode here so you got your digital speedometer you got your engine information trans temp distance to empty blah 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 tire pressure all that good stuff and if you go left real quick you can go down trip and fuel. Got a really nice overall display. I love the blue accents. Very clean look to it. Getting 15.7 miles to gallon, which isn't that good, but I've been testing it out a little bit, so that's understandable. It's got the towing option here. Got your status options, connection checklist. Got your off-road package. Um, it actually does show you, looks like some geometry and the way the wheels are turning the axles so that's pretty neat um, and then general settings down here we don't get too in depth with that 
got the F-150 logo there. So overall, love the gauge cluster. Uh, you got your wipers and everything on this end. And the steering wheel, I do like a lot. It's extremely comfortable to hold. It's got these little notches here. So that nine to three feel or 10 to two, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you also have your volume and your channel remote if you're using your phone or anything like that. Right uh, with the thumb here, you can easily change that. You have your cruise control down there. All the buttons feel, they're not chachi, they feel really nice at the touch. And then you got your phone options over here. So overall impressed with that. You got your tow, your driving mode here, focus, and your towing options there on the, the column shifter. And let me tell you, oh my God, I miss this column shifter, man. Like I'm used to the, uh, the little dial here the Rams have now some other vehicles have but this feels like an actual truck man once you drive it just throw the column up there so props to Ford for keeping that around I know a lot of the other manufacturers are switching to the the knobs or I know some Fords have the the middle console um, piece to switch the gears neutral reverse drive etc uh, the dashboard's very aggressive and sleek looking I do like that a lot it's got a nice um, big wide open rubberized tray up here to throw your phone like so anything like that easy pass speaking of the phone holder let's move this coffee cup here they got this nice little cutout uh very nice little touch there in the middle um doesn't slide around at all once you're driving so you can have your your coffee cups there and your phone there whatever you got going on and nice big touch screen display also, quick note up here, you got the traction control on and off, your hazards, and then I do not like all the newer cars, the automatic shut off to save gas and whatnot, but if you don't like that, like me, you can just easily turn that off here. And I'm not gonna get too in depth with this, just your typical audio, phone, apps, and settings, nice big touchscreen display. Ford always keeping it simple. Got all your climate controls down there. You got two USBs. Got this cool little slit in the corner here for the passenger, kind of throw your phone in there, whatever small items you might have. And one thing I do like about the Fords, I'll demonstrate on this side, the curved armrest area with the window. I do like that, it's very comfortable compared to other vehicles where it's just kind of flat. So props to Ford for that. And then uh, keeping the door handles like that, which is unique, but I kind of like it actually, different. It's easy to use, it doesn't feel chachi either. It's got a nice chrome accent on this model here. So overall, I like that. Uh, this is a cloth interior as well. I know some people like cloth, some people like leather. The cloth's pretty nice though, I must say. Yeah, real quick up here, you got all your light focus. Got all your light options there, which is nice and convenient. Tucked away up top, take a quick look. In the back seat here this is like i mentioned before cab you got the bigger back seats so you have plenty of leg room i got some work stuff here but got the cloth seats again here you got another additional charging station and then the uh cigarette lighter output so sound system in this truck is overall pretty good uh give it probably maybe a seven or eight out of ten and eh, maybe yeah seven se seven out of ten i would say nothing too crazy gets the job done haven't messed around with it too much um, but yeah very spacious and comfortable back seat overall so yeah that's that's a quick little walk around of this 2020 EcoBoost F-150 thing is sharp man I really do I do like the Fords now when I was truck shopping a little over two years ago when I got my Ram uh, there was it was between the Ford and the Dodge. I mean, those are probably the two best-selling trucks in America at the moment. F-150, I'll give it to you. I believe you are the best-selling truck in America, so you guys know what you're doing. Sharp-looking truck. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Check out our buddy Dave's F-150. I'll link some videos in the description or the video as well up here. And uh, yeah, until next time, peace out.